Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the types of software testing models. Software testing is an integral part of software development life cycle. Various models or approaches are used in software development process where each model has its own advantage and disadvantages. Choosing a particular model depends on the project deliverables and complexity of the project. The way you approach a particular application for testing greatly depend upon the life cycle model it follows. This is because each life cycle model places emphasis on different aspect of the software. That is, certain model provide good scope and time for testing whereas some other doesn't provide these aspects. So the number of test cases developed, features covered, time spent on each issues depend upon the life cycle model the application is following. No matter what the life cycle model is, every application undergoes the same phases described above as its life cycle. Following are few software life cycle models and their advantages and disadvantages. We shall now describe some of the most popular and widely used software development models and they are Waterfall model, V model, Agile model, Spiral model, iterative model and rapid application development RAD model. So in this lecture we are just introducing these models in the upcoming six lectures we will detail each of these software development model. So when we come to the waterfall model the waterfall model is a popular version of the system development life cycle model for software engineering. It is often considered the classic approach to the system development life cycle. The waterfall model describes a development method that is linear and a sequential manner. The waterfall development has a distinct goal for each phases of the development. In the waterfall model, once a phase of development is completed, the development proceeds to the next phase and there is no turning back to the previous phase. And when we come to the V model, the V model is considered superior to the waterfall model. In this model, the development and test execution activities are carried out side by side in a downhill and uphill model. Also, the testing start at the unit level and spread towards the integration of the entire system. In the agile model, the requirement and solutions evolve through a collaboration between various cross-functioning teams. It is also known as iterative or incremental model. The agile software testing focus on process adaptability and customer satisfaction by rapid delivery of the working software product and by breaking the product into small incremental building procedures. In the spiral model, the software testing is similar to agile model but with more emphasis on risk analysis factor. The different phases of the spiral model includes planning, risk analysis, engineering and evaluation. In this case, we need to gather the requirement and perform the risk assessment at the base level and every upper spiral building on it. In the iterative model, the iterative process start with a simple implementation of a subset of the software requirement and iteratively enhances the evolving version until the full system is implemented. At each iteration, design modifications are made and new functional capabilities are added. The basic idea behind this model is to develop a system through repeated cycles or iterations and in a smaller portion at a particular time called increments. And another important model is Rapid Application Development RAD model. It is a software development model which is created from the business requirement, project management requirement and software development specifications. In this model, a prototype is created and matched against the requirement. If there is a gap, there is another model created and prototype is developed. 
This model follows a linear sequential software development process where an extremely short development cycle is adopted and a reusable component is used for development. When the requirements are well understood and defined, the R&D process enables the development team to develop final product in a short period. So my dear students, this is just an introduction to different type of software testing models. As we all know, software testing is an integral part of software development life cycle. Various models or approaches are used in the SDLC process where each model has its own advantage and disadvantages. A software life cycle development model describes different phases or activities of a project from its conception. Various SDLC models are used based upon the requirement of different project and the customer requirements and the commonly used models are waterfall model, v-shaped model, agile model, spiral model, iterative model and RAD or rapid application development model. So dear student kindly go through this assignment question. The question is what is software testing model? and name the different software testing models. So my dear student, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss in detail about each of these six software development models. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.